Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So if like me you are playing Divinity Original Sin 2 on the console, you have just got to Reaper's Coast from the Lady Vengeance, you might have come across this little boy on the bridge called Baron Pruitt. Now if you speak to Baron Pruitt, he'll tell you that his mum has trapped him across the other side of this river to protect him against these very nasty Void Woken. If you are playing a hero role like myself, you may agree to help him and his mum, but in order to do that, you've got to get across the river. It would seem when you look along the river that there's no obvious way to get across. For those of you who are veterans of Divinity Original Sin, you've probably already figured this out, but for those of you who are new to the series, you may still be figuring out some of the game's mechanics and what you can and can't do. So in this video I'll give you a few tips, not only will these tips come in handy for future scenarios, it will also help you in this instance. So by now you should have come across the teleportation skill or have a teleportation scroll. Using teleportation is going to be a big thing within this game, it's really going to help you get to some hard to reach areas and also to some kind of hidden treasures as well. What we can do by clicking on the teleportation skill here, we can actually choose one of our characters to teleport across to this boat. Notice how this boat here leads to a ladder and the ladder then will allow you to get across to this area here where we want to go to leads us to this house on the opposite side of the river allowing us to not only access this area here but also to drop the drawbridge down which will help us get across a later time but now our character Sabil is across the other side what we can now do is we can go back to our main character now as our main character if we go into their inventory and scroll across to miscellaneous items you should see here in the miscellaneous items is two teleporter pyramids. You would have received these at an earlier stage within the game. Now you may not really know what these teleportation pyramids are used for, so this will also help you guys as well. But what we can actually do is we can actually send one of these by pressing square, send it to Sabil. means that now Sabil has one of these teleporter pyramids within her inventory. From our hotbar, we can now scroll across to where our teleporter pyramid is. And by pressing X on it to use it, we can now select the destination as the one that's in Sabil's bag. And voila, we have now all teleported across to Sabil just by using the teleporter pyramid. Now, if you want to, you can swap this between characters' bags. So they've got one in their bag, depending on which character you decide to actually uh, you know, teleport to. But that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, this is going to be really handy for you. But at this stage, this has hopefully helped you get across this river. And if that is the case, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just watch this space for more Divinity Original Sin 2. But I'd also just like to add before I go that if you guys have found any other ways of getting across here uh, or any other ways of being able to get to hard to reach areas, please do share that in the comments. It'd be greatly appreciated. So I'll catch you guys in another video and thanks for watching.